Hello, this is John Fry, and uh, I'm going to do a little bit of a uh, sketch demo today using the uh, method I use pretty much all the time these days. Um, and it's a uh, underlay with a marker and then um, going on with a ballpoint pen on top of that. So this is kind of the final result analog that you get out of it. Um, you may also want to add some color, uh, just background to kind of pop stuff out and accentuate the uh, silhouette of some of your vehicles. Uh, here's another example, same kind of bright orange. And if I scan this in, I can manipulate the colors any way I want to. Um, so I'm sketching like this style all the time because it, it's just basically two pens and some copier paper. So uh, the supplies are very abundant. Uh, cheap to buy. This is a very cheap uh, paper mate. Uh, just kind of Office Depot staples kind of pen um, so you can buy them by the huge box full doesn't put out a lot and the nicer thing about these uh, cheapy ballpoints is a fine writing ballpoint pen is designed to give you a, a very predictable uh, stroke uh, no matter what angle you put it at which is fine for writing but for artists we want to have a, a variety of line thicknesses so you see like in this car here it's a little bit lighter, there's darker areas in the wheel wells, um, etc. So we're able to get a lot of variety out of this, this pen by laying on its side, applying different pressures. Um, so like I said, I'm sketching on everything. So like this one's on the back of a uh, uh, basketball bracket that failed. Uh, we got uh, like envelopes. Uh, Envelopes are always around on the, the countertop or on the desk, so I'm always just grabbing something if I have an idea. Um, the first step uh, is going to look something like this. So this is a page that I haven't attacked with the ballpoint yet. So there's some hover hover cars. And uh, this is uh, done with a uh, Copic brand uh, Cool Gray. This is not the exact pen. It's a warm gray. But this is a value 2. Um, I'll be sketching with probably the 20% uh, and there's a Prismacolor 20%. I like the Copic better but I just don't have uh, a number three or a number two cool right now and this is actually a warm three and it's a little bit too dark. Um, so you, you want basically the marker underlay to kind of disappear when you put the pen on it by contrast and also um, when you scan it in, you can adjust the levels and kind of make it disappear or at least fall back into the background a little bit more. I kind of like to have a little bit of the remnants of that original marker work underneath when I'm done because it adds more human quality to it. I kind of like a little bit of messiness and sloppiness to my work uh, in addition to kind of the precise level of detail. So um, this page here... Um, is kind of laid out how I optimally like things to be. Um, they don't always end up this tidy on one page. Um, I've used all the space pretty nicely and also um, they feel like they're in the same perspective universe. So the upper one is like a, a side view and as they go down the page they get more of a tip up so it looks like they're in the same perspective kind of feeling of a plane so like these are all floating in space. Um, not necessary to do that and you actually can do that after the fact when you scan it in Photoshop and cut and paste and rearrange and scale as you want them to. So um, sometimes my pages end up like this and sometimes there's you know dead space or kind of bump sketches on the side that I, I started and I didn't finish. So. <clears throat>